So you may wonder, like, what's the use of Pega BPM? Well, as the organization grows, they, they need uh, their application grows over the period of time. So they have different uh, different kind of applications. Let's say I would say they would have an HR system, they would have a finance, they would have an auto management system, they would have a procurement system. You know, like as the organization grows, each department has their own different uh, systems or it can interconnect to multiple applications. Uh, like one organi parent organization can have uh, some uh, uh, child organization which would have again their, their own uh, system built on on their needs so how, how do they manage all these things right i'm like how they define all the core business process so that's when pega comes into the picture all right so pega helps uh, the business to define their core business process and which can be changed easily when it's needed, all right? So because it's a very cordless, it's completely GUI based, as they say, the designer studio, mo most of the things has been done in the uh, in the designer studio. I'll walk you through how how easy it is to navigate through the Pega designer studio and make the changes, all right? So let's, let's jump into a sample applications uh, that's already provided uh, with the Pega tool. Uh, it's a DM sample, it's opening up, it takes a while. So I, if you want to log in, first of all, uh, the easiest way to do is uh, you go to the Pega Designer Studio, uh, localhost 8080. Uh, let me navigate to the desktop. So once we install, uh, you'll have a Pega PRPC login. So if you click on that, that brings up uh, brings up your screen. Uh, so that, 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 that gives you basically the, log, the login option. All right. So as I have already logged in, it didn't uh, show me, but yeah, you can see over here. So it brings up your login screen. Then you use your username and password to log in. That brings up your application page. All right. So I think our application page should have been opened up now. Let's see. Okay. There we go. Okay. So if you click on the DM sample, that brings up the application. Just a sample application. So that's what we do pretty much, I would say, in the Pega Designer Studio. You create, uh, you create applications and define your case studies, your rules, how your application will work pretty much. And all these things have been done without zero coding, all right? So so this is the definition pretty much. Then you have cases, like every every business case, uh, business has different cases. For an example, I would say, uh, in today's, uh, in, in the total, uh, in the tutorial series, we'll be talking about uh, let's say Amazon, how do they use, uh, if they would have been using Pega, how would they use in the enterprise, all right? So there can be different cases. So all these case can be defined, business cases right over here. Uh, there's one more tab, uh, which is quite in exciting, or the mobile, like, as you know, like everything nowadays is going mobile, like every uh, business, they have uh, integrated the system into mobile because Everybody wants to do things on the fingertip. Uh, pretty one of the easiest example would be you scan your QR code nowadays at the airport and uh, you just checked in. That, that that's as simple as that. So that that's why most of the companies are going towards mobile centric because uh, user are it's it's more user friendly and uh, that that's a trend. So then documentation, I would say. Define pretty much all your documentation, how how you want to maintain your organization hierarchy and these things then integration and security which is the uh, one of the most important uh, feature i would say uh, in uh, in integration you interconnect to the other systems right so it can be uh, let's say over the web service or it can be it can be over jms uh, call it, you know, and uh, security when uh, security comes to the picture it's like when you are connecting to any other application security is quite important what data and whom it was sharing right so if you sharing some data is not intended to, then it has an impact on your business. All right, so that's why security comes in the picture. Also, security comes in the picture in uh, uh, like uh, one of the recent hacks. You you might have been hearing uh, all these uh, hacks coming in the picture. But if you if you are using Pega Cloud, it's advantages. They make sure it has been patched with the latest vulnerabilities, so you have peace of mind for your business, all right? So so, so these are the basics. Let, let's let's take a use case of uh, Amazon and uh, uh, primarily they have started uh, in the US, then they have expanded to several countries, all right? So this is, this is the Amazon company, then uh, they have uh, started their business in uh, US. So I'll just uh, note it down here. USA, all right, uh, let me drag and drop right over here. Okay, cool. 
Okay, that's not cool. Let's drag and drop here. Okay, cool. So now, under US, there would be, uh, as you know, one company has several departments. All right, so let's create a few departments. Uh, they might have, they must have, I would say they would have HR. They would have one more. Nope. So here we go. They would have one more department called finance. Uh, let's say they would have one more department called procurement. All right. So now I'll just drag and drop a few boxes. Now I'll just simply write it down the department names. All right. Just for simplicity. HR. Then they would have finance. All right, and one more procurement. All right, so uh, as you can see, like now we have just created three departments. So and each three department would have their own applications. All right, so that's so. So again. For sure, if you if you see uh, each of the three departments would have something common uh, in the business, right? So all, they all share a common business value, right? So how do you how do you how how does Pega helps? All well, they have uh, uh, they have uh, Pega uh, BPM is most popular for the they have the enterprise class structures where you define all your business case, right? So let's say one person isn't has been onboarded into the company so it's stored in the hr right the same details when the person gets paid on a monthly salary that goes to your finance and it, you can see the home when the same person buys something for the company is in procurement right so you can see the data is replicated across several departments all right so in your business you need to define what what, what is the role of the person all right so it's more around i am however i would say in bpm facilitates you to define the the hierarchy uh, in the BPM tool, and as simple as that, you will see in the tool. All right, so let's let's uh, jump into the uh, to the. Oh, 